Let's learn a little bit about Lashon Hara. We know this week's Parsha is Parsha's Mitzorah, coming from the root of Tsaras, which is the punishment you get if you speak Lashon Hara. Lashon Hara is, is one of the most severe transgressions a person can do. It's right up there with murder and idolatry. And if you speak Lashon Hara, you get Tsaras. As a kid, I always thought of that as the English word leprosy, which is some sort of rash or something that takes over your entire body is very obvious. But the truth is, when you learn a little bit more about it, Tsaras is actually a small circle on the skin. So that's the question. If it's such a severe sin, then why is the punishment so small? How does that match up? Let's learn a little bit more about Lashon Hara. Again, as a kid, and oftentimes, even now, think of Lashon Hara as speaking badly about someone, making up rumors, speaking behind someone's back, etc. Lashon Hara is actually when you say something true about someone in order to harm them. But specifically, the piece of information has to be true. If you're lying about someone or speaking about them behind their back, etc., there could be multi shame rot. It's not the right thing to do, but you're actually not necessarily transgressing Lashon Hara unless what you're saying is true. When you say something true about someone, it's harder for them to deny or kind of fight the fight on their end because what you said is true at the end of the day. But oftentimes, when you say something true that's negative about someone, what's lost oftentimes is the context, the person, the story. What happened? Why did they do this thing that was wrong or that was hurtful or that was etc. If we took a second to understand the context, a person could have more understanding and more compassion. It's actually comparable to what we're experiencing in the war now. The world chooses to look at when we accidentally killed the hostages, when we accidentally killed the foreign aid workers, and many more stories. The world focuses on these seemingly small events, <clears throat> individualized events, which are true, and they were mistakes, but they forget to leave out the context that we're working with in a war zone. And when things are focused on, even if they're true, but leave out the rest of the story, it doesn't produce anything good. And that is what we learn from Tsaras itself, from the actual punishment that we get. Tsaras is a small circle. What harm could that do? It's a small circle. It's true. However, because it's a small circle, we're not able to see the rest of the body. We're not giving them a chance. There is no greater context. So it's important to realize a lot of times we justify, oh, but it's true. So it's okay if I say it. That's not a justification. Our words are so important. As we enter Pesach, we even know we have to say every word of the Haggadah. You're supposed to say it out loud. The words that come out of our mouths are important and make a difference. So if Lashon Hara is such a severe transgression, let's think about how important it is to watch what comes out of our mouth and to remember, even if something's true, it's not always the right thing to be sharing it. Heart, along with all the thousands, now's the time of freedom. Find your voice somewhere in the silence. Light your torch, see it from the mountains. Join your heart, along with all the thousands. Now's the time of freedom.